Illuminant Giants handed Sean Dyche a boost ahead of Everton's trip to Ipswich at the weekend. He came on as a substitute for Senegal, played the last 30 minutes as they beat Malawi 1-0 to qualify for the AFCON. Sadio Mane, late goal, enough to give them the victory there. As a Njai's teammate, Adrisha Ghana Gay, played an hour for them. They qualify for the African Cup of Nations. Uh, elsewhere in international football, last night, Oral Mangala played 67 minutes for Belgium, but they were beaten 2-1 by France. There has been some fixture changes that have been announced today by the Premier League uh, that affect Everton Football Club. Um, the Merseyside derby will now take place at 12.30. Uh, that's been moved following uh, the Everton Wolves game, uh, which has been moved as well from Tuesday night to Wednesday with a 7.30 kick-off. That is on the 4th of December. The Merseyside derby, Saturday the 7th of December, will now kick off at 12.30. The last ever Premier League Derby at Goodison Park between Everton and Liverpool. Following that, Sunday uh, the 22nd of December, Everton face Chelsea at Goodison Park. That game will now kick off at 2pm. And Everton's Boxing Day trip to the Etihad to face Manchester City is now a 12.30 kick-off. And two more games to put in your diary that have been changed. Everton's home game against Aston Villa will now on, will be played on Wednesday, 730 15th of January, uh, that game is, and Tottenham Hotspur has gone to Sunday, the 19th of January, with a 2 pm kickoff as well. Six changes, lots getting moved about. So get all of those dates in your diary. But obviously, the big talking point will be the Merseyside derby moving to 12 30 on the 7th of December. And finally, the Premier League had scheduled a meeting this week, an emergency meeting following their ruling with Manchester City over APT. Uh, they had planned to have meetings with individual clubs as well, as well as an emergency meeting. They have now cancelled both of those scheduled meetings uh, because they need more time to go through the ruling and go through Manchester City's challenges. It, listen, we'll see what happens with it. Obviously, Manchester City are trying to tie them in knots a little bit over certain things. Uh, it came out last week that they, because of the Manchester City court case, they City had argued that some of the rules that the Premier League had in place were not fit for purpose, basically, uh, on closer inspection. And this is what the Premier League are trying to scrap, you know, scratch around and rewrite, I guess. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But it is a damaging blow to the Premier League because they are having to scurry around and correct possible mistakes that are there if you can drive a bus through some of them like Manchester City seem to be doing then it just complicates things even further so those meetings haven't been rescheduled as yet but they have been cancelled for this week that is it for the news daily make sure you give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't see you later